If you were watching TV in the 90s, there were a gang of African-American sitcoms to choose from. We were blessed with shows like Family Matters, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Martin, Living Single, and Sister Sister, just to name a few. But of all the most beloved ones that debuted in the decade, The Wayans Brothers always ranks near the top as a fan favorite. The Wayans Brothers aired on the WB for five seasons, from January 11th, 1995 to May 20th, 1999. The show was the first of the four sitcoms that aired as part of the original Wednesday night two-hour lineup that helped launch the network, along with Unhappily Ever After, The Parenthood, and Muscle. Yeah, don't worry, I've never heard of that last one either. Fun fact, while in development, the series' working title was Brother to Brother, before being changed to The Wayans Brothers. Throughout the show's run, the theme music went through a variety of changes. According to many reports, A Tribe Called Quest's electric relaxation was used for seasons one and two. However, upon investigation, it appears that it was only used during the first season, and another unknown song was used for the second season. In the third season, it was changed to a very short four-second hip-hop beat. Then, in the final two seasons, it was changed again to a regular hip-hop instrumental. What did remain constant was the original song at the very beginning called Give Me a High Five, the Weir Brothers song, performed by Sean and Marlon Wayans. Real life brothers Sean and Marlon Wayans play brothers Sean and Marlon Williams, who live in an apartment in Harlem. Sean, the responsible older brother, owns a local newsstand, where he and Marlon, the immature, lazy younger brother, work on a daily basis. Their father, John Pops Williams, played by John Witherspoon, owns a diner called Pops Joint, where Marlon used to work. Fun fact, in real life, Sean is a year and a half older than Marlon. As rising young actors who were a part of a legendary comedic family, the two brothers expected to be welcomed with open arms in the TV world. They thought wrong. Marlon told Netflix's strong black lead in 2019, me and Sean came out on a brand new network. We launched the WB. We were two young black men that created a show. I was 20 and Sean was like 22. You would think we'd get all this support. And we got hammered. Everybody hated us. Cosby hated us. He explained further saying, here's the thing, we are physical comedians and we speak from blue collar. I was born and raised in the projects of New York City. Not everybody wants to taste that bitter fruit of truth. That's my perspective. This is my life. So our show was about two men struggling to make it. Cosby was about, I made it. I am a doctor. I have my lovely family, my precious son and my three beautiful daughters. And it was the perfect life. We was the opposite. As far as how much creative control they had, Marlon revealed that he and Sean learned a lot from their big brother Keenan when he was doing In Living Color. The key for Marlon was, don't tell me what I can't say, tell me how I can say it. He does admit though that they were young and naive and really didn't want to listen to anyone. They butted heads a lot with their older white executive producers. Fun fact, Sean said in an interview that their deal was originally with NBC. The network though wanted Danny Glover to play Pops, but John Witherspoon was always Sean and Marlon's first choice. The fight for John cost them the deal. It was all good though since they ended up getting one with the WB and became its flagship show. A lot of changes took place in the second season of the show. Pop's joint was moved into the Niedermeyer building, where the location was changed from Harlem to Manhattan, right by his son's newsstand. Fun fact, it was later revealed that the diner was a historical landmark for the nation's leaders and activists of the civil rights movement. Sean's former girlfriend, Lisa Saunders, played by Layla Rashawn, didn't return for the rest of the series. Monique, played by Paula Jai Parker, a local shopkeeper and Marlon's love interest, didn't return after the 11th episode. Lou, played by Jill Tasker, the former security guard, left after the 7th episode and was replaced by Dee Baxter, played by Anna Maria Horsford. Fun fact, White Mike, played by Mitch Mulaney, Sean and Marlon's white neighbor, who appeared for six episodes of season two, was slated to appear as a recurring character for the rest of the series. That didn't happen because Mitch landed his own show, Nick Freno, licensed teacher. While the series did not end on a cliffhanger, it was canceled in 1999 due to the declining ratings and was not given a proper finale. Thankfully, they did make it to the 100 episode goalpost needed to go into syndication, coming in at 101. 
Fun fact, in the 2000 slasher parody film Scary Movie, Sean Wayans' character furiously stabbing another character to death jokes. The Wayans Brothers was a good show, man! It was a good ass show, and we didn't even get a final episode! On the 24th anniversary of the debut of the Wayans Brothers in 2019, Marlon penned a lengthy reflection note on his Instagram to commemorate the moment, thanking the fans for supporting a vision that started when they were young boys. He reminisced on executive producing the program alongside his brother, addressed getting attacked by critics, plus the WB's lack of awareness of the show's success. They never credited us with being the premier show of the WB network, never gave us credit for often beating NBC's number one hit Friends in many markets, including Atlanta, never got the respect to do a final episode after a five season run. But what we did get was the respect and love from our audience. Despite the reported mistreatment from the network, Marlon shared he and his brother were able to turn that experience into a bunch of hit Hollywood films. We got to develop as young artists on a weekly basis in front of the world. We learned the skill set to make us movie stars. And most of all, we made a classic TV show that still runs and still makes people laugh until this day. On October 29, 2019, John Witherspoon passed away of a heart attack at his home in Sherman Oaks, California. He was 77 years old. In the fall of 1999, several months after the series was canceled, it began airing in off-network syndication nationwide. Warner Home Video released season one of the show on DVD in North America in 2005. Warner Archives subsequently released seasons two to five on DVD in the same region between 2017 and 2019. All five seasons of The Wayans Brothers can currently be seen on Amazon Prime Video and HBO Max.